This video is part of a series to take you through the journey to being net zero carbon and how you can contribute to this target when preparing your business case for a capital project. The investment stage sets the strategic direction for environment agency assets in the long term and the future approach for operations and maintenance. For this reason, the investment direction must be set to the current best approach but must also be flexible and adaptable over time to remain the best throughout the investment life. It is the responsibility of everyone involved at the options appraisal stage to make carbon reduction a key investment objective when delivering an environment agency project. The environment agency's priority is to deliver our agreed outcome measures, properties protected and habitat created, we will apply the carbon reduction hierarchy to that process, managing the risk of flooding and coastal change, but in a more sustainable and low carbon way. If we want to reach our net zero carbon target, it is essential to think differently from the initial development phase of your project. At the appraisal stage, we must explore alternative nature-based solutions, alongside new and innovative ways for managing flood or coastal erosion risk. We must identify project solutions that efficiently minimize whole life carbon impacts. Low carbon options should be included in the long list and must be evidenced within the short list. It often turns out that across the whole life of an asset, the low carbon solution costs less than those that are more carbon intensive. It's best practice to run optioneering workshops and team sessions to identify and investigate options. Carbon Champions and your internal cost and carbon team can help with finding the most efficient carbon solutions. These can also help teams consider opportunities that might exist at the area programme. You should also consider engaging stakeholders at this stage to capture their good ideas and buy-in. To help you identify low carbon solutions and make carbon a key criterion, there are a number of templates and guidance documents available that can evidence the merits of alternative and innovative approaches, as well as support for running a workshop. Your internal cost and carbon team and carbon champions can also support with these. Since April 2017, the frameworks have been mandated to report carbon. This is currently completed via the use of ERIC, the carbon planning tool, which soon will be supporting the cost and carbon tool. Carbon reporting with the results from ERIC, the carbon planning tool, should be included in the business case documents at the various project gateways. The new cost and carbon tool is currently under development and release one for capital cost and whole life carbon is due to be ready for the summer 2021 with further releases due later in the year. The results of the carbon tool must be used to improve the design, select low carbon options and shared as early as possible as they help you find and improve your case through an iterative process to deliver lower carbon design. Carbon management hierarchy must be at the heart of the process and must be as important a component as cost and deliverability. Any project should look to reduce the carbon footprint by adopting more efficient, carbon-neutral activities. The development of nature-based solutions needs to be considered from the start as part of the early solutions, not considered later. It needs to be integral. In applying the carbon reduction hierarchy, you must aim to avoid the use of any carbon-intensive activities in the delivery of the flood risk management or asset management activities, adopting alternative approaches. Once the approach has been selected, a project team must look to reduce the carbon emissions by adopting more efficient, carbon-neutral materials, products and processes. Once this is assessed and implemented, any high carbon components should be replaced by those from low carbon sources. Only after all the previous steps have been taken can any residual carbon be offset. Offsetting will be done at a corporate level, in line with our carbon offsetting strategy, which will be drafted in 2021. 
The five case business model must demonstrate that the appraisal objectives have been delivered to justify the investment. The carbon reduction objectives must be considered alongside economic and sustainability objectives. The five case business model includes the strategic case, the economic and sustainability case, the commercial case, the financial case and the management case. In the strategic case, you must state the current situation or problem and how your solution aims to address these issues in the context of the strategic and local objectives for FCERM and the local community. It is the strategic outline case that offers the biggest opportunity to consider carbon, as stated in the PAS 2080 guidance. The carbon reduction curve clearly demonstrates this is the most cost-effective time to consider. At strategic outline case, the carbon modelling report and carbon optimization report should be included. At the operational business case and financial business case, the internal carbon calculator results and carbon optimization report, core, are submitted. At the built stages, the carbon calculator must be used to create the final carbon report. Support for this is available from the carbon and cost team. This approach will ensure that all our investments are carbon informed. The next step in our maturity to managing carbon involves carbon pricing as part of our business case development. This is being piloted and the business case guidance has been updated. Watch out for the next video to show you how.